she goes, no, it's not effing beautiful. So this is the entryway. Things we do to test the work. Oh, you are in for a treat. You need to work. Like, honey, you need to watch your book. But the second thing I wanted to talk about, guys, is our Sims 4 giveaway. And good morning, everybody. It is Dingle here, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing super, super, duper well. And today, guys, it is Tuesday. Happy stream day, my friends. I'm excited for today's stream. I think since we didn't finish out the entire apartment with the new paranormal stuff pack stuff, I think we're gonna start off with like finishing that out. Like the bedroom and the bathroom. I don't think there's a lot. Yeah of stuff that I can do with the bedroom and the bathroom with the paranormal. I don't think there's a bed or anything, but I just want like a full, you know, experience. I still don't think that I'm going to do some of the gameplay because it totally freaks me out. I have no intention of doing a seance in The Sims and no intention of doing a seance in real life or bringing that energy into my real life. So I'm not entirely sure that that will be happening, but we'll probably switch over to like the 100 baby challenge or something like that. If you haven't given us a follow over on Twitch, make sure you do so. It's just twitch.tv slash Dingle. It's so so fun every Tuesday and Thursday I get to live talk with you guys while playing The Sims like what could be better getting to hang out with you guys and playing The Sims like what's my life <laughs> you know Jack is in a meeting over there if you just hear him talking he talks really loud on the phone I feel like I do too when you get like the person in your ear and then you have no idea how loud you're actually like yelling but guys we I would want I I want to say like we got clobbered with snow as with most of the east coast that got clobbered with snow today and like last night but our snow i think it ha it just hasn't amounted to anything as much as i thought it would it has amounted to stuff but it just not as much as i thought it would but when i look closely there is a lot of snow but the winds last night like just kept blowing it's almost like the snow couldn't just like settle down be a full foot or like over a foot of snow because the winds were just like not today like you don't have any place to settle i'm going to push you everywhere in, in every which way so it's like in some places i can still see grass like the driveway has been plowed but i don't know if you guys can see that i'll take my finger away but like you can still see grass and things it just hasn't amounted to much but it was so funny so i have a standing call on tuesdays with the main client person that i do work for we've honestly become friends over the the over a year that we've been working directly together and we have this like standing call on Tuesday mornings at 10 a.m. And I would say half to like 75% of the call is like catching up about the weekend and just things that are on our mind, which is so fun. And then like we get into work and like what we should be doing and stuff like that. Jack will be listening in on our conversations. Like I just have it in the living room and he's like, that is sounds, that sounds like the most fun call ever. How do I get on that? Like it is a really fun call. We both hop into the meeting this morning. I was like, what have you been up to? And she was like, oh, I was just like sorry I was just like outside with the snow and stuff I'm like isn't it so beautiful and she goes no it's not effing beautiful it's literally the worst thing ever like and so she goes through her experience with the snow and she owns a house with a driveway garages cars that need to get out etc and her husband has been every like few hours last night he was out there shoveling it and I was like why do you shovel every few hours and they're like why don't you just wait till it like falls you know and it's because it gets so heavy if you just wait until like all of it's there it's like almost impossible to shovel so he's doing that and then she has a part of the driveway that she agrees to shovel but in her part it's like so cramped in the way that it's laid out that like she can't show it out. Like she doesn't have any place to put the snow. So I'm sitting there like in my cozy apartment where the maintenance guy comes through with his like snow blower and his plow. And I'm like, wow, it's so gorgeous. And then she's like, when she sees snow, her mentality is like, wow, this is going to be a whole day of shoveling and snow blowing. And who am I going to hire to do this and all this stuff. I'm like, it's just such a different perspective. So if you own a house, let me know if you have a very different view of snow than I do as far as like just watching it fall and being like so enamored with it and so like wow it's so beautiful hi buddy how long do you have before your phone call uh zero seconds uh, i want you to take my picture i'm gonna have to hire the robot again my to. no you know, i hate days where i have lots of phones what time is this call over uh hopefully in 15 minutes oh i could wait 15 minutes for you to take my picture <laughs> i have a lot of stuff to do oh, but no like it's just gonna be with my iphone we'll see just my iPhone. 
He's gonna, okay. he's gonna take my bitch. <laughs> I already got these like snowy photos over on my Instagram, like from the first snowfall that we had. This is literally the, only the second major, major snowfall that we've had. And on the first one, it was snowing like during the day. And so I was able to get my snowy pictures that I like to get every year. And those were so fun. And then this time I was like, I already did that. I don't wanna go outside in the snow. I don't wanna get all made up. I don't wanna put on my jacket. I don't want, you know, and like, like freeze to death outside in order to get a photo. So I thought I would do like a cozy like indoor picture. Anyway, I digress. A couple things today. I got my rug pad. Very exciting. <laughs> I got the premium rug pad. I know that there's like these yellow type of like, I don't know, like, you know what I'm talking about? They're like yellow waffly like type of rubber pads to go underneath your rug. But this one they said is the premium one. It's like the non-slip and all that. And my mom said that the other rubbery ones don't just work. Like they, they accumulate dust and then they don't stick anymore and they just don't work very well. So we went with the premium one, which I think it was only like $10 more or so. This is for the runner in the hallway. Since I know we'll be walking a lot on the runner in the hallway, I immediately got a rug pad because it was just very thin and I know that it, anyway. So I have a rug pad for that. That's very exciting. <laughs> the other thing, my friends, in the last vlog, I was dying laughing. I was in the same setup. You guys sit there, by the way, when I'm like talking to you guys. I was there and the people were like always in the hallway. Like someone was like moving in and out or moving a bunch of stuff or there was a maintenance thing going on. So I was having trouble vlogging and I was like, gosh, like why are they in the hallway right now? And like Haley was like, am I the only one that didn't know that there was like a door right there? And I realized like I have not done a full finished apartment tour. I have an empty apartment tour in case you want to know like the full layout like of our apartment. I'll leave that link down below. And I think that's so funny because then Jess also was like, um, I don't know the layout of this building. Like what is happening? What is going on? So I thought I would show you guys the different doors without giving like too much away, you know? So this is the entryway to our, our place. This is like the main entryway situation. This is the front door. So this door is where we go out front and this is where like the mailboxes and stuff are. Like this is like the main like front and then this lovely thing behind me is the thing that buzzes so loudly when the mail lady, I put masks over it because we have like a little nail up here. This is the thing that just goes and it just like freaks me out so bad and it's so loud because this building is like early 1900s. I would even say it might be in the 1800s when it was originally built. That used to be a phone. Oh wait, I should show you guys exactly what it looks like. It used to be one of those like ringer phones. You can totally see it. So there it is. And then like, I don't know what this thing used to be. It's cut now, like it doesn't really. This thing holds this down and then when you take it off, this thing like goes up and then you can see under there, it says Western Electric Interphone. Like it used to be and then this is like a ringer thing, but the building rewired it or something and it just acts as the buzzer for like people who can like buzz and like ask to come into your apartment. So that's the main door into the living room as I'm sure you've seen, oh, it's, it's a mess. This is just, this is, this is life guys, this is life. And then you come all the way down here. This is still like the front half of the apartment. There is like through there's the second half of the apartment. That's where like the two bedrooms Bedrooms are one we're using as an office the other one's our bedroom like that's the second half of the apartment and then you come in here and then there's a back door And it's through that back door where we don't really use it that much at all. We have to park our car in the garage because of snow and stuff like that. That back door is like closer to the garage, I would say. We don't really use that for like a door or anything, but that is where we have to go down for trash, recycling, and laundry down into the basement. This is the door that we use to go down to the basement for all of our basement needs. And then that front door is like the main door that we go out of. So I hope that answers your question about the layout of the apartment. It's almost 12 here and before I I heat up some lunch and dive into some worky bits. I kind of want to lay this out so that it just stops being ugly in my kitchen. So let's go ahead and do that. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Secure. Look how nice. Sally, I need you to run on this. Come here. <laughs> he needs to get like really cool. Things we do to test the run. Sally. <laughs> She's just casually walking on it. Oh, here she goes. 
I mean, we were running on it. But yeah, I was running on it too. Awesome. Nice. Looks good, baby. Yeah, you do. So not much change for you guys, but I just know that it feels really freaking good and it's like not moving at all. This thing is really, really nice. It looks really ugly on this part, but this is more of like the rug is like adhering, not really adhering to it, but you know what I'm saying? Like the texture itself makes it kind of stick to it a little bit. And then on this side are the little like things that used to go on the bottom of our socks to make us not slip, like the non-slip sock. That's what it's kind of made of. So, Allison, we were trying to have you test. Oh, that's what we wanted you to do. Why didn't you do it when we were there? Thumbs up for us, right, Miss Ellie? Thumbs up for rock and roll. We're now making our lunch and our cat, I can't say her name because she's gonna know that I'm talking about her, has not had attention for ages. So watch what happens. Miss Ellie. Yeah. Oh, you can't even stand it. Oh, you can't even stand it. Oh, is that gonna give you attention? Okay, come this way. Come on. Come on. Look at him. Come here. Oh, the water. Oh, you are in for a treat. Yes. She loves it. When she was younger, I'm gonna try to find a picture of like, I think we have a picture of us in our Connecticut, oh hello darling, of our us in our Connecticut apartment with Miss Allie like tucked in your shirt or my shirt because she couldn't stand not being a part of oh, whatever yeah. we were doing like in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. She was like in like laundry, God forbid we did laundry without her. She couldn't believe the audacity of us if we did anything without our baby, <laughs> anything. Guys, the stream is now over and we've had tacos. It was an epic stream, by the way. We got raided by one of our friends, Sarah Plays Sims, with 116 people. That's so many people watching. It was so crazy. Thank you to everyone who joined that stream. It was seriously so epic, but Jack. Do you have any thoughts about The Bachelor? Wait, first, if you guys watch The Bachelor, there are spoilers coming up like right now, but Jack and I watch it together. Actually really good. Do you think it's really good this season? Yes. Yes? yes. What are your thoughts, your leading thoughts from the queen going home, how Matt's handling the situation? I think he's handling all of the drama so well. Yeah. And he's just setting a really good example. And like, he's just not putting up with any of the crap, which is so good. Yeah. He's, he's not like, I need you to explain yourself. He's like, I don't put up with this. Like you yeah. have shown a character, like an out of character moment. And I don't like that. Yeah. So I think it's time for you to go. <laughs> like, like, yeah. Honestly, okay. I think what's so different about like that and like the past people and like past people have been great too, but like he doesn't really care to dive into it like too much. Yeah. It's more like, okay, you admit to doing this thing and like we all have character like flaws and things like that and that's totally fine. But if you've shown it this early, then like it's kind of kind of like a no-go for me. And he's like, you can learn from your mistakes and that's cool. It's like, you're not a bad person, but I'm looking for a serious thing, you know? And I think that's what is so nice. And he just does it so respectful. I know, like you can't hate him except for the queen, like Queen Victoria, like she didn't take it very well, but everyone took it pretty well. And like even being sent home, they don't hate him because I'm, he's just so great. I am convinced Queen Victoria is a paid actress. <laughs> That can't be real. Like, <laughs> she or, was ridiculous. Oh like, my gosh. Delusions of grandeur. She thinks she is all that and more. And she's never at fault. Like, honey, go back and watch the film. <laughs> oh yeah, it's crazy. You think you're a queen? Like, queen of like, the Like, literal flies, queen. Please. Like, it's one thing, like, she's gonna say, like, obviously that was a joke and all this stuff, and it's like, no, no, no. Like, okay, it's like one thing to the bring out the queen thing the night, like, night one, but she kept it going. Oh no, she actually thinks she's a queen. <laughs> she just... She will explain away any fault that we think is like, <laughs> is like, no, like, you're, we, the audience, are in the wrong. Like, we are in the wrong. It's our fault. We did something. Oh my gosh. And then I think like my favorite part of this episode happened within like the first 10 minutes. It was like previous episode, Katie, who I really like Katie. Katie is like the most mature woman in the house right now. But she sees something that isn't right. Like the new girls being literally bullied. Like yeah. people are like, bullies an aggressive term. No, they were being called names. They were being 
being talked behind their backs. They were being snubbed by the other girls, like being called JV versus varsity and ma being made to feel less than. And that was just so bad. So I thought like Katie in the last episode going to him and explaining that this stuff is like going on in the house. And then for him to come in for, during like the first row ceremony and open up a speech and how he said, he was like, if you feel like you have to tear somebody down in order to make yourself shine, that's not what I'm looking for. Exactly. I was like, yes, like no one needs to be torn down to make other people shine. I thought that was so good. You would think that like a good season means like more and more drama and the drama is really fun. But I think what The Bachelor slash The Bachelorette has been missing is just like a good lead person, like someone with good morals, good values and like that's what I wanted to see anyway and I think that's like been really awesome. I just love the memes that have come out of it. The memes oh my gosh. You know I talk about her. You know what's so funny the memes are all about the main bully girls in the house and what they're gonna say after the show is like they've been bullied because like all these memes are being like made about them but it's like yeah okay an eye for an eye is not necessarily the way to go about things but yeah. you were ruthless you were horrible so like you're kind of getting a taste of your own medicine with all of the memes being made about you considering you called somebody an escort on national television based yeah. on a rumor. You have to look in the mirror and laugh at yourself and yeah. laugh with the other people poking fun at you. Exactly. Like this is hilarious. Like you literally said the most catty thing <laughs> in the most catty way. Yeah. Like you have to look back at that clip. Like you literally were talking like this. <laughs> and like this is so catty. And <laughs> how ridiculous is this? Like, you need to watch that part. Like, honey, you need to watch your clip <laughs>
we can definitely do that. It's for PC and Mac as well as console. The only restriction is that if you are on console, you have to be in the US. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is be subscribed. Make sure that post notification bell is turned on. Make sure you comment below that you've done those things along with an Instagram or Twitter handle or email. Some reliable way to contact you if you do in fact win because it'd be really sad if I contacted you in a day went by or so and then I'd have to move on to somebody else. So that is it my friends. Good luck in the giveaway. I love, absolutely love doing these for you guys. It makes me so happy to like spread the joy of the Sims, you know? But before we go, let's do comment shout outs, friends. Oh my gosh, you guys came in hard with the comments last time. Thank you so much to Haley Brown, Lauren29, Bashley, Emmy Reese, Ashley Del Rio, Jess, Dolce Tones, Natters, Roman Too Lit. Thank you all so much for your comments on my last vlog. I so appreciate you. Guys, if you want to be in next comment shout out, all I have to do is be subscribed. Make sure that post notification bell is turned on so you get notified whenever I post a video. Come on in, comment on the video, and you could be in my next video. I love you all so, so, so much, and I will catch you in the next one, my friends. I'll see you later. Bye!